Hey, if you're watching this video, that means I probably just did a carotid and directomy on you or your family member, or someone did and they didn't give you good directions. Today we're talking about a carotid endarterectomy. Carotid endarterectomy is done when you have a blockage in the artery in your neck that supplies blood to your brain. You can have visual changes, you can have dizziness. Regardless, this is fancy plumbing. So what we do is go into your neck, open up that vessel, pull the plaque out, and close it back up, usually with a patch, 99% of the time with a patch. When we do that, you will have an incision on your neck. It can be this big, it can be this big, it can be larger. The most important thing is to make sure that you don't have any bleeding from that incision. Bleeding from that incision is somewhat concerning. If you have swelling in that incision, that's okay. Most of the time, if you are on Plavix or aspirin, you will have a little bit of bleeding after the procedure. That's to help prevent you from having a stroke. If you are on something like Xarelto, we usually like for you to wait five days before you restart it. If you were on a baby aspirin before, we want you to continue on a full dose aspirin afterwards. If you're on a full dose aspirin, continue it per your cardiologist recommendations. If you're on Plavix, continue it per your cardiologist recommendations. If you're on something other like Eliquis or Coumadin or Warfarin or Lovenox for some other reason, contact us and we'll give you specific instructions. You should be up the next 24, 48 hours moving your neck. It's going to hurt a little bit from time to time. Remember, you can't drive, at least in the state of Alabama, if you're on pain medication. So don't drive if you're on... <coughs> Remember, in the state of Alabama, if you're on pain medication, you can't drive, but your neck will be stiff, but you shouldn't have a lot of pain. Some people report being more clear-minded after the procedure. I don't know if that's the case or not, but that's what people say. Otherwise, it should be straightforward. We put Dermabond over your incision so you can take a shower the same day if you want. Some people have drains, most people don't. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. I'll put a list of comments up here to just watch, things to watch out for. And again, give us a call if you have any problems. And again, I appreciate you rocking with us. Thank you, take care.